persist data to services using volumes. Here's how. So here we are on Railway. We have a Laravel app deployed. We have a web service, a MySQL and Redis database, and a cron service. Now the MySQL and Redis have volumes attached to it, and that's how they're able to store data permanently. Now a quick refresher. Railway takes your code, builds it into an image, and runs them on containers. So your services are basically running on containers. Now, containers have what you call ephemeral storage. In, in lemma terms, it's called temporary storage. Now, when a container is restarted or redeployed, any data written to its file system is lost, basically, between restarts. Like, it's not persistent anywhere. Now, if you are writing data, for example, you want to store images in your apps, or you want to even use, like, an SQLite file database, you need to be able to store it somewhere, and that's where volumes come in. So let's click on this service. When you right click it, you can attach a volume, and then you set a mouth part. So we we'll do a slash app, slash data, and that is going to go ahead and create a volume. So all we need to do is deploy. So once we deploy, a volume will be attached to our web service. And what we can do is now we can now write data to that part. So I can go ahead and upload a SQLite database or even just start storing images in that web service. And that's all you have to do. I'll see you next time.